volume two of Power One Pocket, what they don't want you to know. This section is on shot stories, and I was playing Alex Pagulain in the 2012 semifinals. This is to get to third place. He plays a safety behind this ball, and it's Hill Hill. Hill Hill, he doesn't freeze it and lets me see the 12. I cannot see the 13. The shot that I select is to roll the cue ball and play it behind the 13. I hit it too hard, selling out the combination, and it cost me the match. The shot that I wanted to shoot is clipping the 12, sending the cue ball into the 13, towards my pocket, and sticking the cue ball back here somewhere. I knew I couldn't roll it soft enough where the table didn't roll off or it wasn't humid to not leave in the combo, and that's what I tried and I sold out. I set this shot up right after the match was over, executed it perfectly, went to my room, and threw up all over the bathroom. I right hand English. I'm going to clip the 12 ball. The cue ball is going to go into the back of the 13, sending it this direction. This is the shot I should have shot. Here's another great shot story. This is back in the day, Derby City at the old place. Marcus Shamat and I were on the road. In 2005, I believe, the year I won the Louis Roberts Award, we had plenty of money. Cliff Joyner had the race match up gambling, and I believe it was a race to nine for ten thousand. I ended up going crazy, laying two to one the money, taking effort. Effort was giving Cliff nine to eight. I thought he was stealing. Well, unbeknownst to me, the score comes down to eight to seven. Effort's in the lead, race to nine. Effort needs three balls. Cliff needs one to make it hill hill. I'm very nervous. I literally took down a sheet full of bets. I had $15,000 bet to win $7,000. Okay, so here's what happens. Effort ends up banking the 12 while sending the cue ball three rounds, making the 12. The cue ball gets behind these balls and runs out for my money. How do you like that, Effort ladies? If he can do it, I can do it. Whatever happens to run out from here, I'm jumping. There's literally a crowd of three million people. Cameras, eyes in the sky. Lindsey Lohan was in the back. He wins the game, I get the money. I'm gonna put my buddy Shannon Dalton on blast. This guy's broke my heart more than once. World class player, good person. This is, I believe, to get in this final four of the Derby City Classic a couple years ago. This is my pocket. I need three. Shannon needs three. And I believe it was Hill Hill. This is Shannon's pocket. I intentionally put him in this position. The only ball that Shannon can see is the five ball. He keeps looking at the five. Then he walks around and looks at these. He looks at the five. He looks around and looks at these. He ends up saying, well, I gotta go. And as soon as he said that, I knew he was going to win the game. It made my heart drop. Because we're playing on the TV table. This is a tight diamond with worn in cloth. But the TV table at the Derby is loose cloth. Bigger pockets. What he did was fired this bank with a tip of inside English, one rail down, passed the seven ball, the cue ball came out, he got his next two balls. He knew that he could turn it with that new cloth and this big pocket would suck it right on up. And that's what he did. And this is what the cannon does to break the freezer down. Just like this, heartbreaker. Shannon, I'm coming after you.